Hi guys, I'm Connie from Say It With Simplicity. I'm going to be doing sort of a trash to treasure video for you today and I'm going to be using my Silhouette Cameo. And I thought this would be kind of a fun one. Um, we live here in Wisconsin and it's kind of cold right now. And we've actually had just a little bit of snow flurries and so I'm not really ready for the snow yet, but this is sort of a little bit of a let it snow project that I came up with with some stuff that I had around the house here and I thought I'd kind of upcycle it into something cute that so that when we do kind of get into that white stuff a little bit more that I could use it for decorating and I thought I'd share that with you today. Um, with that, let's get started at our project. So this is the pile of um, polystyrene or styrofoam blocks that I have and you can see their various sizes and these just came out of some Amazon packaging. I think these came along with the, the palette buster that we recently purchased and so I'm just going to be using one of these today and um, you could cut these down I think to different sizes if you wanted to. But I mean, these are kind of a neat thing to to work with and um, would be great if you wanted to do something with kids. And I'm always looking for something because I do 4-H projects with kids. Um, and so I thought this would be kind of a fun way to explore using these instead of throwing them in the garbage. So depending on what paints you use, you'll need at least one foam brush. I'm going to be using two. I'm going to be using some folk art acrylic paint um, in licorice and um, one of the things that I did when I was researching for this project is find out that the um, acrylic paints really adhere well to the foam block and so that's why I decided to go ahead and use the acrylic paint. You'll also need some foam board and this is just a something that you can pick up at your office supply store. The Dollar Tree has this. I cut this down into the size of my block, as you can see here. And I think this is like, I don't know, three and a quarter by five and three quarters or something like that. And you can see that my block has a little bit of an indentation in the bottom but um, that's okay because we're going to be covering that up. And I'm going to be painting this, um, this foam board with this chalkboard paint. Um, this is kind of an optional thing, but I had a lot of this and it's been going a long way. I've done several chalkboards with this and I have a lot of this left. And I wanted to see how this would work on this foam board and so that's why I decided to go ahead and use this. And of course I used a um, utility knife to um, cut my, my foam board with. It works really good to just kind of score it a little bit and then cut deeper into it. But of course use something firm under it that you don't have to worry about damaging it. I have an old quilting mat and then I just sort of used a straight edge to try to get that as straight. And you're better off to be a little bit larger than your block um, rather than smaller. And of course I'm going to be stenciling so I'm going to um, use this little stencil that I created on my Silhouette Cameo and we'll be talking about that a little bit more later on. Um, but I just did a little let it snow thing and um, I have some transfer paper here. This is the Duck brand um, laminate and I'm going to be using that for my transfer paper. And I have a little makeup sponge with, and with that I'm going to be applying some um, Waverly white chalk paint and I'm not going to show you that. You might know what that looks like but um, my can is a little bit messy so I'm going to just um, leave that off today and then I also have some of this cute um, jute ribbon that I got from the Dollar Tree and it has some snowflakes on it that I thought would go really nice with with this project 
So with that, we're going to get started. And the first thing I'm going to do is set all of this aside. And I'm going to be using my um, folk art paint and I'm just going to be painting the sides of my block. And this goes on pretty quick. You don't have to get too fancy because this will be getting covered up with that ribbon that has the snowflakes. And I like to just catch the edge of this. You don't have to paint the whole front and back because that's going to be getting covered up with our little chalkboard sign. But this way, if you have any white showing through, you're not going to notice it as much. And this is just because the the ribbon looks a little bit nicer against this dark background than it does against the white. You can see it a little bit better. And I'm going to go ahead and finish painting this and I will be right back. Okay, so now I have these foam board pieces and one of them I just went ahead and I gave it a really light coat of that chalkboard paint and painted the edges a little bit so that the white wouldn't throw, show through too much. And then the other one I just left, but I just um, painted the edges a little bit. What I wanted to do was go ahead and, because this is a chalkboard, just use a piece of chalk to prime that a little bit. And the one thing with this chalkboard paint on this foam board is that you don't want to get this too wet because otherwise um, your, your paper part of your foam board will peel off. And now I'm just going to take a baby wipe and I'm just going to... brush that off and it'll just give it a little bit of a chalkiness and we'll let that dry for a little bit and while we're doing that I'm going to grab my design and I'm going to use my um, duck brand um, laminate to for the transfer paper and I got a little bit of a wrinkle in there but that shouldn't matter too much And just double check to make sure you haven't pulled up anything important. And now I have my piece of foam board here. And I'm going to line up my design. and press it down. I 
and then I can lift up my transfer paper. And because this is foam board, I'm not really like a wood sign. I'm just sort of going a little bit lightly. And it looks like I have everything on there. I check my little middles of my letters. I sort of have a love-hate relationship with script fonts for that reason. But I think this looks really cute and now we're ready to stencil. I'm going to go ahead and blot off some of my chalk paint on my makeup sponge and I'm just going to go over this lightly and I have a paper towel here so that I can get rid of some of the excess paint Okay, so now we've finished up our stenciling and I'm going to um, grab a corner of the stencil vinyl and start to pull that off. Sometimes it helps to just sort of rock it back and forth to keep it from tearing. And I can grab my little middles with my pen tool. I love my pen tool, by the way. And I'm just going to go ahead and get the rest of these out of here, and I'll be right back. All right, so there we have our cute little Let It Snow sign on a chalkboard, which was done on a piece of foam board that we got from the Dollar Tree. So I've got a lot of that foam board left, probably way more than half of it, and um, now we're ready to put the rest of our project together. We'll need our glue gun and our jute ribbon um, that we that I showed you before, or the burlap ribbon, I'm sorry. Um, and so this is nine feet. That's probably enough to go um, around a few of these. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put my back piece on first. And I'm going to put this right on the foam board itself. Just because that piece of foam is a little bit prone to melting. I'm going to go ahead And put 
put a generous amount of glue on the back of the chalkboard piece and put it on the front of my foam. And now that that's down, I'm going to turn my block over and I'm going to just start at the front. And just start adhering my ribbon. And you just want to sort of press that into the glue. And the ribbon is a little bit wider, but that's okay. This is going to be in the back, but if you wanted to, you could trim it down a little bit. And now I'm going to go ahead and work towards the front again. And I guess I could just catch both of these at once. You want to just pull this nice and tight. and kind of embed it into the glue so that it's nice and square. And you just want to leave a little bit of overlap. And just kind of press your fingers around the edges to get the down and there you have it our little let it snow sign turned out so cute who would know that this is just a foam block with a piece of foam board over the top of it? Isn't it fun to create stuff out of simple items that you have around the house? These are things that would otherwise get thrown away. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope that you'll subscribe to my channel, and we'll see you next time. Bye.